we're back for some more cue ball control and position play. Today we're going to be working on speed control and we're going to be working on some angles and how to determine the angle of the cue ball coming off the object ball. You really no need to know that in order to play position. You need to know where the cue ball wants to go naturally and then you have to influence it with spin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a cut shot in the side but it's also going to be a scratch in the corner and I'll show you how to determine that. All right, look at the line through the cue ball and the object ball to the pocket. Now turn it 90 degrees. That's the direction the cue ball is going to want to come off the object ball. And as you can see, it's pretty much lined up for the pocket. All right, so we're going to set the shot up. I'm using the A as a reference point and that bottle cap to mark the ball so I can set it up identical each time. So this is just a center ball hit, no, no English, no topspin, no draw. And it's pretty much a natural scratch. Now I'm going to set it up again, but I'm going to move the cue ball. I'm going to make it a thin cut. But it's still going to be a scratch in the corner because it's still the same angle coming off that ball. So this is something you want to learn to recognize. You want to know when there's a potential scratch. You don't want to be giving your opponent ball in hand any more often than you have to. Okay, so we determined that that's a scratch. So how can we avoid it? So we're going to put some follow, some top spin on this. And it's going to be a soft shot. And that's something we're going to be working a lot with, hitting the ball soft. You really got to learn speed control. I'm going to hit, I'm going to come up to the left of the pocket on this. And I, you have to hit it soft. If you hit the ball hard, the longer it's going to stay on that tangent line, the natural angle off the ball. All right, so soft and hit it above center. All right, so that takes the scratch away one way. You can also do it with draw, which is what we're going to set up next. We're, this time we're going to draw it back toward us. We're going to pull it away from the pocket. We're also going to use this to do uh, set up for some shots also, but right now this is just ways to avoid scratching. All right, draw it back. Okay, so now let's say you're playing a game of eight ball or whatever. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you want to get on that eight ball next, and you want to have options. You want to be able to get so let's say one of those pockets is blocked so you want to have you may have to shoot it in the other pocket so this time we're going to try to get in that small on the left side of the eight ball and there's not a lot of room to work so normally this wouldn't be my first choice but maybe it's the only choice all right so hit it soft hit the cue ball high and that's really the biggest thing there hit it soft you really have to learn how to hit the ball soft and then once you've learned that you got to learn how to hit it even softer Okay, so now we're going to get on the other side of the eight ball to play it in the other pocket. Soft shot, but you still have to be able to put spin on the ball on a soft shot, and that's, that's what takes some practice. All right, I'm going to move the eight ball up a little bit. This is where speed control comes in. All right, so now we're going to, we have to come up table a little bit to pay, play the eight ball in the corner. This is the exact same shot we just played, except for we're going to hit it a little harder. So you know you can make it go to the bottom of the table. Now you just need it to come up a little bit. There, now you got the eight ball in the corner. Same shot. We're going to work with a different angle here. We're just going to set up in the corner pocket. And I'm going to show you. We're going to figure out the angle of the ball. Now the cue ball is going to want to go to where about I marked it with that die over there. And that's why if you hit it, center ball, no top spin, no bottom spin, that's the natural angle. So once you know the natural angle, then you can work on changing it if you have to. You may not have to. Just knowing the angle and using speed control, you can, you can uh, get some pretty good position, position just off of that. All right, so that's the angle the cue ball wants to go. So let's work on changing it up. So now we're going to hit 
below the where I put the dice, below where I marked the rail. It's going to come in about where the second diamond is. Soft and hit the cue ball high. All right, so see how we came in lower? In case you need a different angle to get on your next shot. We're going to put some draw here. Now, like I mentioned in the last video, top spin really isn't working correctly with ghost ball, or with aim assist, I should say. So I'm not going to show you as many different top spin techniques as I would like to. All right, so there's a draw. We hit above the side pocket. And there's a, there's a real scratch risk on that shot. That's something you've got to be careful of. So now I'm going to put a heavy draw on it. I don't want to touch that rail at all. I'm going to bend the cue ball, bend it away from the rail. So basically when you curve the cue ball on a shot like this, you refer to it as bending the cue ball. So heavy draw, but you can't over hit it. See how I never even touched the rail, curved it right away. If I hit that ball too hard, the cue ball is going to keep, is going, to keep going right into the rail. Because that forward momentum is going to be hard to overtake with the spin if it's, got, if it's going too fast. All right, so here's a situation. You're playing eight ball. Your four ball and the eight ball are in a bad place. So you want to you want to move them. So here's an opportunity to move those balls because right now they don't have a pocket to go in. They're tied up. So if you know the angle of the cue ball, go bump them. And the thing is, when you're breaking up balls like this, you don't have to go slamming into them. You want to keep them in a control, do it in a controlled manner. You don't want them flying all over the table and they end up getting just in another bad spot. All right, so we're gonna look at something a little different. Now suppose these balls don't need moving. And remember, if balls don't need moving, don't move them. See, the four or the eight can go in either pocket. So why mess with them? Just leave them alone. Eventually, you know, just try to get on them. So in this case, we're gonna do what we can to avoid moving the ball. So we're just gonna draw away from it. If you watched my break and run video, You'll see that I think only one time in that whole run I actually touched another ball with the cue ball. I didn't need to. You gotta work like a surgeon out there. You gotta just pick around everything. If you don't need to touch things, don't. You just it's just gonna lead to trouble. Alright, so there it was. We we avoided touching those balls. We can get on them later. All right, now I'm gonna set up some shots on the rail. Now, I'm freezing this ball to the, to the rail. It doesn't have to be frozen to the rail, but it does have to be close to the rail. And it's easy to predict, actually, where this is gonna go. I'm using the uh, head string line for the object ball, and I'm just gonna use the C as a reference for my cue ball. So I'm gonna hit the first shot with no spin, just a center ball hit. The cue ball should be going in there with no spin on it. And the natural angle for that is just to go straight across the table. And that's handy to know. I mean, if you've got a ball over there, it wants to go there anyways. All right, straight across the table. But we can still influence that with topspin and backspin. So let's set up a couple shots to get position on. All right, this is a game of nine ball. And you gotta shoot the balls in order. So there, I'm on the two ball here and I wanna get down there for the three ball next. Just hit it soft and top spin. You really gotta control the speed. It's easy to over hit these shots. Nice and soft, just let it drift down there. I've been playing a little bit online and I see almost almost every player I've come up against so far has just overhit everything. You just really got to learn to slow it down. There's no need to go knocking all the balls all over the table. You might have a nice easy rack and then you mess it up by just knocking things around. Okay, so now we're going to draw. We just want to come up table a little bit. It's going to go across the table, but it's going to come up toward me. There's a scratch in the side risk on this. This is something you're just going to have to get a feel for over time. So there, now we got the uh, five ball in the corner next. And I just want to show you one more shot. It is possible to really put a power draw on this and just pull it all the way back to the other end of the table. If you need to get down there, it's not that difficult. 
So I'm going a heavy draw stroke on this one. There we go, right down table. Okay, so that's about it for today. If you take anything away from this, it's just learn your speed control. Learn to recognize the angle the cue ball's coming off the object ball. That's huge. You want to know where that cue ball's going all the time. And keep, keep the cue ball under control. Don't go smacking it into things. Don't unleash the cue ball. Just hit things. So if you have balls, if you have three balls at one end of the, of the table, just hit it soft. Just keep it near where your balls are. You don't have to be pinpoint accurate all the time. All right, good luck with your games. Until next time.